Greetings, Earth humans. Welcome back to another episode of Creepy Nibs. I am Count Chocula, and today we are going to be doing a review slash unboxing of this pen. Not this one in particular. These two. Of the Pilot Kakuno. This is the alt gray with a fine nib. I've had this a little over a year. Um, and I really like it. Just, it's great. I carry it around pretty often. I'll get into the rest of that after I get these out of their exoskeletons. Um, so yeah, set that to the side. And we'll keep it in frame. It's all right. There we go. Cute. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to start with the extra fine uh, because I'm most excited for this because I absolutely love Pilot's extra fine nibs. They're because they're super fine. They're really smooth for what they are, and I've never, ever, ever had a problem. Ever. So, that, is, we're going to figure out if that's going to be a consistency, or not. So, external of the packaging. I am unfortunately unable to read Japanese in any way, shape, or form. So, that will be helpful to some of you. I ordered these uh, on eBay from Japan. Because I totally could have checked on, you know, Goulet Pens or Jet Pens or any of the other pen retailers in the United States. But, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I found out later that they were selling the, the clear demonstrators. And I... Yeah. Anyway, took about two weeks to get here. Maybe if that, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Maybe I'll tell you later when I've looked into it. I'll put it in the description box. So, we need to keep this in focus. It says open, and I am um, having difficulties. Oh, pen. Oh, pen, my pen. All right. Oh, that is perforated, so it rips off there kind of nicely. Uh, let's do a zoom zoom. There we go. That'll be better. I, had, mm, I am unsure of what I am supposed to do. Oh, ha, huh, how about that? Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you just got to see me be a complete idiot. This is great. All right, so it opens like this. You don't need to tear it or anything. Um, kind of like a coffin. I like it. It's oh, it's housed in this plastic piece of a thing. Um, oh, underneath is the ink cartridge in black, but I got converters for these, as you could tell from earlier, uh, so we'll set that to the side. I don't need to open that, but I will to put it into my little cartridge coffin. Oh, ah, and it's still that way. This is just not any display of intelligence whatsoever. So, stamp cap, of course. A little roll stamp. And it's got a sticker on it that I will also remove. I... Done! Alright, we can just stick that on the box. See, do it like that. Boom. Alrighty. Pen time! So, I'm going to show you this one to describe to you the parts of the pen because it's clear and 
anyway, like I was saying before the camera decided to shit the bed, I'm going to be showing you the clear one because it's easier to see all of the internal bits. So, for lack of redundancy's sake, uh, I'm going to open the other pen and I'll show you the converters. Okay. I have returned. So, uh, these are the three pens. Extra fine, fine, medium. These are the boxes of the converters. And the wonderful thing about these Pilot Calconos is that they graciously accept a Con70 converter, which has a gorgeous ink capacity. I just, I love it. Uh, so, it comes in this box. I tried my best to remove the uh, obnoxious Amazon barcode, because I ordered these on Amazon. Uh, and I fail miserably. <laughs> so, this just pops right out there. There she is. Look at that. Let's see if we can get it to, to, to focus. There you go. Alrighty. So it's got this hollow bar inside. I'm not 800% sure on how this converter works, technically. Um, I'm sure I could find out somehow, easily, by just looking it up. But I didn't do that before recording. So, yeah. Um, there she is. It's got a button push button. I have not measured the incapacity of this. I'm sure there are many people who have and they'll be able to tell you. Um, so we'll rip the other one out. Oh, ha, I already opened that box. What the hell today? I don't understand. This is just bonkers. Alrighty, there, there. Converters there. Uh, let us quickly do a comparison of these converters with another pilot converter, which is the new Con 40, which has a dismally small ink capacity compared to these two. Because this, you could fill up from like this line here all the way down to about here. It goes past the bottom because there's that white piece in there and that also holds ink let's see and it's that big so you know this is I know a lot of people really really hate this converter and I'm not the biggest fan of it either but I have used worse and it's definitely better than anything aerometric um, I had JR Bonds uh, oh what was it called Rouge Hematite. I probably butchered that pronunciation, but, uh, yeah, Rouge Hematite. Here we go. Let's do it that way so I don't look quite as pretentious. Uh, and it's got glitter stuck behind the piston that I don't know how to remove because I don't know how to take this apart. And I don't want to try it because I don't want to break it. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Let's, uh, take a little peeky peek at... The Con 50, which I have in this pen. Uh, it is Pilot Parallel filled with Sailor Kiwaguro. Kiwaguro. I can, I can speak, I promise. Um, and gently undo that, and yeah. We could probably pull that piston down. This one also has glitter stuck behind the piston because I don't know how to control myself with glitter rings. And I'm just like, oh, I'll just put it in a converter. It'll be totally fine. And then it's just not. Um, but whatever. Who cares? But they're the same size. Uh, could put these away now. Ooh. And... 
I will talk about this guy. Because I've used this extensively. This one also has the Con 70. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now it does. This one also has the Con 70 converter in it. Uh, I cleaned it out a couple hours ago. And uh, when people say that these converters are pain in the dick to clean, they're pain in the dick to clean. Um, I had X Feather in it for a while. And yeah, things happened. So I'll give you a better look -o on the nibbo. On the nibbo, yeah. So it's got a little smiley face. How cute is that? I love it. Let's see if we can get that without the light kind of fucking up the everything. There we go, smiley face. He's all smiley. He's divine. Uh, so, pull out the nib and feed. Pi standard pilot feed, standard pilot nib. Except it's got a cute little smiley face. And one of the things I really like about this is it, there's no like key for the feed to go in. Uh, so, since I write with my hand like this, so my index finger rests on the top of the pen, uh, I like to have that be a flat part and then on the sides here. So I put it upside down, basically, um, and I could just stick the nib and feed in like that. And it's also helpful because these little little marks around the side uh, just align the nib, so I know the nib is in the right spot, which in this case it isn't. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Okay, so now we're good. Uh, so yeah, that's all the parts of the pen. Um, and I totally lied when I said that I was going to show you the clear one for the parts of the pen. Uh, but let, let's do that anyway, because I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just not cool. I, oh, I, I'm going to not cut any of this out. I'm going to upload this anyway so that you can see that everybody makes mistakes and you can carry on without beating yourself up over it. Uh, focus. Thank you. Uh, the medium nib. Uh, and this one's got his tongue sticking out. How cute is that? I've not... Oh, this is how it comes. I've not moved the nib around or anything. Um, so this is a standard tripod grip shape that I'm not a fan of. Uh, so yeah... I don't even have to take the nib and feed out of this one because you can see right through it. It's nice and it's really clear. Uh, it feels like the same plastic that they use in the penmanship that I will pull out in just a second. Yeah, there we go. Except this pla actually the penmanship looks a little bit more blue. Um, and so this is more of a colorless clear. Um, but I like it. I've already harvested the nib out of this one. Uh, this one, again, I'm sorry to jump around all over the place, but I can also do that thing where I pull the nib out, rotate the section, boom. Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, put that away, because it is currently irrelevant. Uh, and I'll show you how the converter looks in the barrel. They're all screwed in and stuff. There you go. A little bit of a tight fit. But it goes on nice and snugly. That's exactly what you want. Because you want these converters to have good seals so that they'll fill up better. Um, and yeah. Definitely add some weight to it. Uh, I'll have measurements in the description box. Um... So this is going to be really, really nice to write with. I'm very excited to use these clear ones because I was really excited when they came out. Because uh, generally my rule for pens is, is black or nothing. But I really wanted to try it because it was cheap and I can get away with it without losing goth points because it's pastel black. There you go. Uh, so I've had this for a while 
and I really wanted to try the Pilot Fine Nib. I was incredibly satisfied. So, what I will do now is ink it up. This one. And this one. And this one. And I'll be back. Okay. Okay, and through some cinematic witchcraft, it is three days later, because <laughs> I'm lazy. And now it's time for me to show you how to ink this pen. I'm going to be using, I'm going to do this very carefully, Nemesarn Cossack Nebula Twinkle, yet again. But this time, I will be filling it sans twinkle. So, uh... This is probably not the best idea to do with a vacuum pump thingy filling mechanism, what you doodle. Because um, the way this works is press the button, this rod goes down, and then I will not be able to get that on camera, I can guarantee. Um, but there's a, the tiny opening, so that will press against the tiny opening. And then when you pull it back, you go sucking up. Like a vac filler, but not quite as cool looking, I guess. So, alrighty. For, for brevity's sake, I've already filled up these two. I used a syringe because I'm gonna switch the inks out because I'm gonna use the same inks just for, you know, review purposes, and then I'm going to switch them out to the ones that I want to use. Okay, so, into the ink. Carefully press, because we don't want to disturb the glitter at the bottom. Two, three, four. Better grip. Five. Six. Oh, I don't think I had it deep enough. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. That's all I'm going to do. Because I don't need to fill this up all the way. Set that to the side. Recap this. And since I have already filled the pen, I can show you the coolness of the glitter on the bottom. Look at that! Ha! Majestic, isn't it? Isn't it? It is! Alright, so I'm going to switch the camera angle and we're going to do other stuff. Writing sample time is upon us now. Okay, um, before I get into that, the first thing I'd like to mention is that the only thing I actually really hate about this pen is the stupid fucking opaque inner cap. I do not understand why that can't be clear, but, uh, is what it is. It's not a deal breaker, but it would be more of a deal maker if it was completely transparent. Anywho, alrighty. Well, let's, let's keep that in focus. There we go. I'll do a printing, just to... Okay, extra fine. Fine. Medium. Okay. So, as you can see there, uh, the ink isn't coming out on camera exactly as nice as it looks in person. It looks a lot darker. Um, here it's showing a lot more maroon purpley. Um, but yeah, here we go. I, it was a smooth experience. There's not too great a difference between the extra fine and the fine. 
but there's definitely a difference between both of those and the medium. Uh, you could tell more easily in the upstrokes which one's the uh, extra fine, which one's the fine. Uh, yeah, no problems. They're all pretty smooth. I mean, the medium is going to be the smoothest just because of what it is. But, yeah. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Pens are good time. I will continue to use these for as long as they're alive. Uh, I figured I might as well, since this video is already fucktastically long anyway, uh, I'll show you what it looks like with the clips. So, here it is with the retro style clip. Because you could fit, uh, you know, Caveco clip on these. And it fits nicely in that spot. Even though the shape is totally different, because this is an octagon and this is a hexagon, uh, it still holds on nicely. It's useful, it's functional. See, I pulled the cap off before I got the clip off. So that is useful. Um, this is the classic clip that I usually keep on this one. And it's nice, because when you put it in your pocket, uh, the end of the clip is kind of level with the top of the pens. There's not a bunch of pens sticking out, and it's nicely, nicely in your pocket. So, if you had to choose between getting one of these Pilot Metropolitans and one of these Pilot Coconuts, with the converter and the clip, brings it up a little bit more expensive, but they're enhancements that greatly improve my lovability of the pen. And, yeah, it's easier to write within a Metropolitan because the section's not as stupid tiny. It's just a great pen. It's not as heavy as the Metropolitan. I just have so many nice things to say about the Pilot Kakuno, with the exception of that thing I mentioned earlier about this stupid thing. Also, I kind of wish that the faces went by nib size instead of, you know, like, the color of the pen. Because I want all three different faces, but I only have two different faces. Because the transparent bodies have the tongue face, the gray ones have the regular smiley face, and the pastel ones have the winky face. At least that's how I understand it from looking at pictures and videos and reviews and stuff like that. So, I hope you have enjoyed this obscenely long journey into the ins and outs of the Pilot Kakuno. That yellow is just a reflection of the top of the Nemesai notebook. Nemosyne. There we go. I think that's how this one's pronounced. It's not like this, which is Nemesai. It's Nemosyne, because it's got the M-N Nemesai part. Um, Maruban paper. There we go. We're just going to stick with that. Um, okay. So, bye.